The working principle of a wheel loader involves several key components working together to perform various tasks efficiently. Here is the main components and their function before I explain about how it works. Bucket. Buckets are the most common type of attachment on a wheel loader. But even buckets come in a wide range of size and designs to accommodate different materials and different working conditions. Boom arm. The boom connects the wheel loader's bucket or other attachment to the body of the wheel loader. Bucket cylinder. In the center of the wheel loader boom, a heavy-duty hydraulic cylinder connects the wheel loader to the bell crank and in turn to the bucket. Boom cylinder. Two hydraulic cylinders, one on each side of the boom, control the lifting and lowering of the boom. Bell crank. Connecting the boom, bucket cylinder and bucket through the A-link is a heavy-duty bell crank. This part allows the operator to tilt the bucket and acts a simple lever as it pivots at its center. Operator cabin. The cabin on a wheel loader operates as a central command station for a wheel loader. Linkage. The eye links on a wheel loader connect pivoting parts together through the use of pins. Final drives and brake groups. Final drives and brake groups are incorporated into the axles of the wheel loader. Final drives are the last point for converting power into height torque output as it is transferred to the wheels. Engine. At the heart of the wheel loader is an internal combustion engine that turns fuel into output to power the machine's drive system, hydraulic system, and other systems. Transmission. The transmission on a wheel loader utilizes the principles of gear ratios to allow the machine to perform at various speeds and at different levels of torque as power is transferred from the engine through the transmission, and eventually to the wheels. Main Control Valve The main control valve in a wheel loader controls the direction of flow and pressure of the hydraulic system and each of the loader's hydraulically powered parts. Differentials Front and rear differentials in a wheel loader sit at the center of the axles and transform the direction of power while also utilizing a geared system to allow wheels on the same axles to turn at different speeds in specific conditions, like when rounding a corner. Counterweight. The counterweight is located at the rear of the wheel loader and helps balance the weight of the machine and its load. Its function is improves stability and prevents the wheel loader from tipping over when lifting heavy loads or operating on uneven terrain. Here is the overview of how a wheel loader works. The operation begins with the engine powering up. Modern wheel loaders typically have diesel engines, which provide the necessary power to drive the machine.
the engine's power is transmitted through the transmission system, which allows the operator to control the speed and direction of the wheel loader. The transmission transfers power to the wheels or tracks, enabling forward, backward, and turning movements. A hydraulic system controls the movement of the loader's arms, bucket, and other attachments. It consists of hydraulic pumps, cylinders, valves, and hoses. When the operator manipulates the controls in the cab, hydraulic fluid is pressurized and directed to specific hydraulic cylinders, causing them to extend or retract. This action raises, lowers, tilts, or dumps the loader's bucket or other attachments as needed. The loader arms are attached to the front of the wheel loader and support the bucket or other attachments. The hydraulic system powers the movement of the loader arms, allowing them to raise, lower, and tilt the bucket to pick up, carry, and dump materials. The operator in the cab uses a combination of joysticks, pedals, and other controls to operate the wheel loader. By manipulating these controls, the operator can control the speed, direction, and movement of the wheel loader, as well as operate the hydraulic functions to lift, lower, and dump materials. The wheel loader can have either wheels or tracks, depending on the model and application. Wheels provide traction and maneuverability on solid surfaces, while tracks offer better stability and traction on rough terrain or in muddy conditions. Wheel loaders are equipped with various safety features, such as rollover protection structures, ROPS, seat belts, and backup alarms, to protect the operator and bystanders from accidents. Overall, the working principle of a wheel loader involves the efficient coordination of engine power, transmission, hydraulic system, operator controls, and safety features to perform a wide range of loading, hauling, and material handling tasks in construction, mining, and other industries.
like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content about the world of heavy equipment. Thank you for watching and your support.